It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, from Earth, Wind & Fire, September to Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline. We're looking at the top anthem songs that changed our lives. Plus, another installment of Robin Cook's Retro. Today, she's making a trifle, the same one Rachel made on the TV show Friends. It's got whipped cream and beef. Mm. And I want to make this clear. Monday morning gave us no warning. But I still say TGIN. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. How you doing, Mike? I'm Mike. doing well. I have a great uh, Thanksgiving commercial to get our week started. I think you'll like this. Take a look. Here's the vegetables. This <laughs> kitty's <laughs> so great. Here's <laughs> Turkey, trimmings, televisions. Everything you need for Thanksgiving. Meyer. Meyer standards. Oh, nice awesome. little plug for Meyer, but it's worth it. Yeah. She's like, well, I yeah, didn't I know. know. She's so great. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. One, two, three, four. Well, it's a nanny time, baby. It's my favorite time of the day. Well, it's a nanny time, baby. Can we just hear what they have to say? All right, here we go, number nine. Uh, some people are calling this the most luscious piece of chocolate cake you'll ever taste. It's called Don't Ask Cake, as in don't ask what's in it, just eat it. Well, it turns out the secret ingredient is crispy, crunchy sauerkraut. According to the San Bernardino Sun, the kraut cake was invented by Geraldine Timms, a lunch lady who worked at Waller High School in Chicago in the 1960s. She was asked to get rid of a massive stockpile of excess cabbage, so she baked it into the cake. Another guy claims his mother invented sauerkraut cake during World War II. Google the recipe, you'll thank me later. Oh, well, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah. It's got her name written all over it. Nice one, uh, well, it sounds yeah. like it might be too good, though. It might be. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Number eight, more from the Reddit group, Confusing Perspective. These look like turtles. Do they? But they're just steaks. Oh. Huh. Who sees a turtle? I don't see a turtle. Me either. Now that? That's a cat on a blanket. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> wow, that's frightening. What is frightening? Oh, he's on the he's kitchen on the island. Cat. Yeah. It's on the oh, kitchen island. I see. Caught me off guard there for a second. <gasps> Larry, <laughs> <laughs> that that is too. great. What you a couple of weeks ago, right? Oh, Larry, yeah. you know, you seem like you were like well, that. that's Surprise. second level, though. That's, <laughs> that's eyebrow that's, stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, number seven. People are going to be doing a lot of cooking this week, so maybe you want to spring for some fancy butter. This is Bordier butter. Well, you can see that it is a really rich yellow. It's made on a relatively small farm and shop in Brittany in the northwest region of France. They make the butter and cheese that's used by Whoa. some of the world's best chefs. Machines churn it, but the rest of it is done by hand on wooden tables, which gives it a silky texture. They're basically the only ones still doing this the old-fashioned way. They have flavors that people say are delicious, raspberry or vanilla or smoked salt or seaweed, but wow. you want to be fancy. That looks great. Oh, man, look at that. Mm. All right, number six, all this week, we're showing you some childhood comfort foods that need to make a comeback, like this classic. The old Fluffernutter sandwich. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't know, has it gone away completely? It was a favorite of kids in the 60s and the 70s. We, I remember eating it a couple times. Marshmallow fluff and pita butter slathered between two pieces of white bread. That's the key. None of this wheat bread or yeah. you know, no, you can't do sprouted it. grains nonsense. Uh, it's best served with a nice cold glass of milk. <laughs> sure, it's marshmallow like fluff and peanut butter can be thick. <laughs> 
and you don't want to get them stuck to the roof of your mouth. They're also filled with lots of sugar, which could explain why the sandwich isn't as popular uh, as yeah. it used to be, because kids are soft. But it's worth the comeback for a fun treat every once in a while. There you go. Boy, you really struck a chord with George. Yeah. 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 Down yeah. the wheat bread, yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, uh, let 2023 be the new year and the new you. You're going to show up in the office and let them know who's in charge. And it all starts right here. Oh, Come on, Robin. With this collection <laughs> from the Dutch designer, Sebastian Katchus. Wow. Wow. Watch, yeah, you want to show people who's the boss? Yeah. Show up in a laser, a latex blazer. You want yeah. to command the room? Try a rubber blouse with <laughs> <Bob's news. laughs> Luke is giving me Catwoman vibes. Yeah. If Catwoman ran a Fortune 500 company. Start small here. You're going to try one piece at a time. Yeah. Maybe just yeah. the latex jacket on top of a wool dress. I or disagree. I say go all in or, pants or nothing at all. With cashmere. Uh, keep the hair classic, the jewelry understated, but rubbers, you yeah. know. There you go. Yeah, you go. The problem is you won't sneak up on anybody. Yeah. <laughs> normally you're so quiet and demure when you're walking about yeah. the building. All right, number four, this floating hotel is just one of the options for fans at the Cutter World Cup. MSC Cruises just launched this new luxury ship, but for now it's going to remain docked and act as a floating hotel for around 6,700 people. Prices start at 220 bucks a night. And there are 10 pools, multiple whirlpools, not to mention gourmet dining rooms and a casino on board, so 200 bucks a night doesn't sound bad. Mm. Guests will have plenty to do when they're not at a game. The ship itself is set to sail around the Middle East next month. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All righty. Number three in the 70s, Elizabeth Taylor's uh, brother had a hippie camp in Hawaii. It was called Taylor Camp. Howard Taylor had seven acres in Kauai. In uh, 1969, Howard invited homeless men, women, and children to come live on the beachfront with no rent, no rules. Uh, it grew to 100 people who lived in a uh, bunch of different houses on the property. They had a co-op, a church, and they'd have parties. Sometimes babies would be born, you know, oh, the hippie wow. stuff. Howard never really intended all this. He was a college professor with five kids and a wife when he uh, bought the land. It just happened because he wanted to be nice. He eventually left the place, but all the pot smoking and people walking around naked really annoyed the locals. By 1977, everyone was evicted. That's it is now a state park. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right, number two. Here is some mercury in a dish. Oh, that's fun. that doesn't look safe. Um, no, mercury. it does not. <laughs> no, for all you kids out there, mercury is poisonous. Yeah. And we used to put it in easily breakable glass thermometers back in the day. Yeah. Uh, mercury is the only metallic element known to be liquid at standard temperatures. And you can oh. see the guy adding food coloring. He oh, tried boy. to pick up the mercury, but he only gets the color red, and that's because uh -huh. mercury can't be absorbed by a paper napkin. The cohesive force of its molecules is so strong huh. that it won't cling to anything. Look at that. Oh. Well, look at you teaching us science. Wow. Yeah, I, wrote, I actually wrote that one my, myself, and sure. um, just from my own recall, from my yeah. own knowledge of, uh, <laughs> of science. Wow. Just, you're smart. Yeah. You guys stick me on this end of the desk, and you're like, yeah. you know, do sports. Yeah. You're like, no, <laughs> I want science. For us. And I'm like, I got a lot yeah. more to offer. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah, that's nice, Pat. Yeah. All right, number one, Robin is cooking again, and it's retro again this morning. And this one is inspired by a sitcom. I get to eat this. Rach, you're killing us here. Will you serve the dessert already? There's drunken dancers awaiting. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, which I made from scratch. <laughs> then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sauteed with peas and onions. <laughs> bananas and then I just put some whipped cream on top <laughs> what, what was the one right before bananas the beef 
Hmm. Yeah, that was weird to me too. But then, you know, I, I thought, well, there's minced meat pie. I mean, that's an English dessert. These people just put very strange things in their food. <laughs> By the way, can I borrow some rum from your place? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. And while I'm gone, don't you boys sneak a taste. Okay. <laughs> Beef in a dessert? That... No, no, no. There is no way. I know. And only one layer of jam? <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> oh, my God. The pages are stuck together. Chandler! <laughs> oh, my God, she, she made half an English trifle and half a shepherd's pie. <laughs> ah, see, that's what's in store uh, for you. That's the premise of it. All right. All right, that's the night of night. That's coming up. The night of night is a whole lot of fun. Sunshine around here for the next few days. We'll be in the mid-40s today and tomorrow, lower 50s here on Wednesday. The average high for this time of the year is 47 degrees. For Thanksgiving Day, look for mostly cloudy skies, a 20% chance for some rain in the afternoon and evening hours. Cooler Friday with a high of 44, then back into the upper 40s here for Saturday and Sunday. Another shot of rain Saturday night into Sunday. That's your forecast. Lots of big stuff ahead this Monday morning. After the break, from Earth, Wind & Fire September to Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline. We're looking at the top anthem songs that changed our lives. And Robin's cooking retro again. She's recreating Rachel's meat, as we've seen. It's called Trifle, and it's from Friends. Stick around. Modern day.